Hey, welcome to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, well, what are you waiting for? There might be something you like that comes in the future. You know, who knows? There's a lot of stuff. If you know what this channel actually does, let me know in the comment section because I, I am the owner of this channel and I don't even know what the content really is. I'm going to be honest. I mean, there's like unboxings and reviews and stuff. But there's a bunch of random other stuff too, so I don't really know. But I'm going to look at my setup today and just uh, show you guys where I'm at and just basically cover everything that's on here. I really like these kinds of videos. There's this channel called Edgar Ogan something, and he makes a series called Setup Wars where they... Uh, they just like he like roast people's setups and honestly I would I will not submit my setup because my cable management is shit and he would roast me alive for it so the one thing we're not going to talk about is my cable management I know it could be better but I kind of need all these cables to be exposed like this uh because pretty often I have to move stuff around and it's just better like this so we'll get started I'll just go through all the items I have here and their you know their purposes and whatever this chair this is probably the oldest thing in this setup this chair is probably like 15 years old I don't know how no is it that old how old am I 23 this chair is probably like 10 years old and it's still perfect like it's got it's kind of messed up a little bit but it's a good chair it it uh it's amazing anybody who sat in it can attest to how good this chair is so yeah this chair i'm just gonna take a seat in it and it's freaking awesome so next i would say my blue spark condenser mic this thing's about 200 dollars, and it is top of the line mics when it comes to doing vocals screaming it's a condenser mic uh, don't know what that means exactly, but it's a good mic. It's got some input settings And it's just it's really nice looking, but it's a it's such a quality mic The pop filter is just something I got off of Amazon is like ten dollars and this stand is a Samsung Sam Sun stand. It's actually a pretty good stand I think it was thirty dollars and it works really good. It's a real nice stand as for the monitors, those are Edifier monitors, as you can see there. They went for, I think, $100 I got them, but I actually got them for free because uh, some stuff I had going on, and so I ended up with those monitors for free. They're actually really good. They look nice. Uh, they're like wood on the side. They have a few, they have a little EQ on them and uh, a little remote comes with it and the remote is really nice I actually use the remote a lot next probably what would be next this is a red dragon keyboard and I actually wouldn't recommend this keyboard just for my anecdotal experience so I'm gonna move this out of the way I just had it set up that way because I wanted you to see how I if I'm making a video with with a mic It'll normally be right there, and I'll be like talking into the into the mic right there. But if I'm not using it, I just kind of set it to the side there, and I might even lower it down there so it's not so tall. As for the monitor, so those are the two monitors, the edifiers, and then we've got the other mo like the the screen monitor, and that's the scepter. I kind of owe like a lot of uh, the subscribers I've gained to this monitor this curved display it actually uh, this <laughs> this monitor <laughs> gave me a lot of views I'm not gonna lie uh, so I I'm in debt to this this monitor and that video like that video really blew up like it's gotten so many views and the monitor is really great I'm not gonna lie like I it's a great monitor it's it's just awesome it works really good and it's a good size for me at least but as I was saying with the red dragon I wouldn't recommend it just anecdotally because the a key doesn't work my a key doesn't work and 
I wouldn't say it's my fault uh, just because I don't ever eat here. I don't ever spill liquids or anything. The A key just simply doesn't work right. I have to like slam it. Like sometimes I have to just hit it like that and then it'll it'll click or it'll it'll input an A, but yeah, that that just doesn't work unfortunately. But it was like a $30 keyboard, so no big deal. It it looks pretty nice. And then this mouse is the DS200 MSI. This mouse I've had for a long time. I did an unboxing video back in the day for it. And this mouse is great. This mouse is dope. It's got weights in here and it's really just good. Like you can get the driver for it and do all the the lights the way you want and it's really just it's so I've had it for a long time and it just it's so nice to click it feels amazing it's got all these extra uh, buttons that you you could program however you want if you like and it's just good it looks nice and I just like it feels amazing too it's so comfy so ergonomic what else what else do we got here uh, this these are my business cards and I just kind of leave there, leave those there. If anybody comes in to record or something, I'll I'll give them one of my cards. And they just kind of, those boxes just look nice. So I have all my cards in there. Some little knickknacks. Well, this is the only knickknack really is a fidget spinner. And if you've ever played with a fidget spinner, like let's be honest, they're they're really nice. <laughs> they're nice just to have. I got this one when the when the fidget spinner like whole when that was the biggest thing in the world, not Corona, when like fidget spinner, like those were simpler times. Can we just go back to when fidget spinners were the thing? But yeah, I have the fidget spinner just there. I play with it pretty often. It just sits there and some picks for my guitar. I guess we can go down now and then we'll go for the right. This is the Ibanez guitar. I record a lot, all of my music really well. Not all of it, but a lot for a lot of songs I'll use this is the guitar I use. It's a seven string and attached to it is a little tuner there as you can see. And it's just a good guitar. It's really worked nice and then the this is the strap I have for it and the strap's so nice. The strap's awesome. My sub this sub I got it for my car a couple years ago. My other car, and I made that car have I installed all new speakers the sub and really it just that car had fucking amazing sound system it was so good i replaced everything i put really nice equipment in and it was just amazing i had an amp installed uh i just did it all really nice and and i did it good and like it was a really good job but then i i got i got my new car and my new car like I had both the cars at the same time and I was just like fuck like I can't keep both of these cars I have to get rid of one of them and so my old one had the sub and all the nice speakers and stuff so I figured well I'll just take out the sub the amp and I'll give the new owner the new head unit and all the new speakers in the car so he can at least have that and I'll take the sub which is the sub is freaking awesome this thing is loud and it just is got awesome low end. The only problem with it, the way it's set up here, is I don't have an amp plugged into it, so it's it's not as as loud as it can be. But it's okay, you know, it works and it gets that low end through. So when I'm making music, I can get the the monitors that really fill up the mid to highs, and then uh, the sub gets all the low end that you could possibly need. So moving on, I mean, I do have one of these. Uh, the LEDs obviously and you can mess with those however you want and set the color tone however you like I'm kind of a blue guy like I like the color blue a lot blue guitar blue lights blue lights uh, I don't know if it's like a boy thing or if it's just I like the color blue but a lot of times I do blue sometimes I'll go all red to match the keyboard and I'll I'll turn the I'll make the PC red and and just make everything red and that's sometimes a color I do too but you know it's normally it's blue cuz I I like it blue. What else do we have here? Well, I would say this next is my this is actually a really cool little thing I have. 
if I can get it out here. This is one of my old phones. So I actually, I had this phone back in a time where I, I didn't have any money, so I had to get a really cheap phone, but I still wanted like a good phone uh, for my budget. So I had to get like a pretty cheap phone, but it was a really cool phone. Like I made sure it, it, it made sense what I was getting. And so this is the Moto Z2 Play. And the reason I still have it and like it's a part of my my setup is uh, is because of the projector. This This attachment back here, this actually snaps off. And this right here becomes a 70 inch projector, like a crystal clear projector. So you could just sign into Netflix or Hulu or YouTube or whatever you use and boom you've got a 70 inch projector so this actually like and I've got a ton of storage on this too I think it's got like a 256 SSD not SSD uh, SD card micro SD in the in the phone and so this thing's really this thing's this is a cool phone it is a cool phone and there's other attachments I can get for it to make it still usable and so I think that'll be like a cool thing uh, it'll just be it'll age well is what I'll admit about this this phone I do have an iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 it's an iPhone 6 plus I replaced the screen not too long ago because I, I shattered the whole screen but I use this thing quite a bit I'm gonna be honest uh, just to iMessage people I would say is the main reason but sometimes I just use it because I really like Apple products and I want to get back into the Apple world it's just an expensive world to get into if you've left it uh for for windows and and android so coming back to it is kind of like a big financial step like you have to you have to make quite an investment but i think it's worth it so when the new iphone drops when they make a bezel-less design i'm going to get i'm going to get that iphone i just i couldn't get this the iphone 11 it was just the same phone just with a little better software so I didn't end up getting it and I got a OnePlus instead and the OnePlus works really well but I do want to go back to Apple like I want to get an iMac computer and go back to Team Apple because if you look back on my videos I used to be like an all Apple person like my whole setup I had an iPhone and iMac and uh, I had an iPod too but yeah, it just used to be an Apple setup, and I really did like those days. Now, now I'm on Windows, and honestly, Windows is is all right, and Android's all right, but it pisses me off a lot of the times because sometimes you just have to you you end up troubleshooting way too much, and uh, for some things, I just want that crisp, amazing experience that Apple offers, especially for like video editing and some other little things. Uh, just just there's some things that Apple does better. I'm willing to admit that. And I really like the brand. So probably going to invest in, in Apple stock and see if that lets me that allows me to buy all the products I want. So, yeah, don't mean to get too lost in that tangent. But my PC, I built this PC last year and I upgraded it recently again with some more with an added SSD and some more RAM, but I'm starting to feel like I should have uh, got a better processor from the start. But this one's still, like this thing is still a beast. Like it's fast and uh, it works really good and it does everything really fast. The only, my only beef with it right now is it doesn't render videos very fast. So that's basically a processor thing. I'd need a, a faster processor. And so that's basically like, well, you're gonna have to replace uh, not the whole computer, but like the processor, it's it's a pretty internal component, and the processor is going to cost me a lot of money. So that's basically the situation. Uh, VR porn, and moving past. No, I'm just kidding. That like I my mom gave me this or something, and it's just kind of sat there. I mean, I've used it like maybe a couple times, but I don't really do anything in VR. Maybe I should do something in VR, like use the VR on like there's probably phone games or something that have VR uh, that I could use that for probably like I'm sure there is these right here these are my Logitech headphones I've got the little boom mic boom 
here and I use this for Xbox mainly but my live ran out and so now I just don't play live anymore and I just I use these for music production sometimes but uh, random things like I uh, random things I'll end up using the the headphones and I just line them into my focus right this is my scarlet my audio interface and maybe we get some light in here no nah, it's okay no lights fine this is my focus right this is this little puppy's probably two hundred dollars I think and the focus right's real nice this one's the two plus two I think is what it's called it's the gen 2 with two inputs and uh, it's got like basically all the settings you could need the direct monitor and uh, it's just good it's a good audio interface for like basic level stuff and so it works really well the mixer we're not really going to talk about the mixer uh, just got some hard drives there a scale for weighing not drugs my one plus box and is there really anything else no i think that's i think that's everything that right there is an mc escher i really like escher's work and then there's some classic porsches so is there anything else I'd I'd add to this video? No, I guess if you've made it this far, drop a ETH or an LTC address and I'll send you some something special. As you can see. And uh thanks for watching this far. Appreciate it. Bye.